Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, interesting uh, rational equation x minus uh, 7 divided by 2021 20, plus uh, x minus 6 uh, divided by 2022 20, plus uh, x minus 5 divided by 2023 20, plus uh, x minus 4 divided by 2024 20, equals to 4 and we are going to solve for x uh, value and we are not supposed to be using the calculators of any kind please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let's go ahead and get started with the solution and since we are dealing with these uh, rational equations so just look at uh, these uh, denominators uh, 2021 20, 2022 20, 2023 20, and uh, 2024 20, so one of our options is to calculate the least uh, common denominator or sometimes we call it least common multiple. However, that method is going to be very long and tedious. So therefore, we are going to think uh, outside the box. And now let's focus on the right hand side. We got this number four. Let's go ahead and move this uh, four on the left hand side. As you can see in this uh, next step, this four has become a negative four on the left hand side. Now let me go ahead and tweak uh, this uh, negative 4. Negative 4 could be written as uh, negative 1, uh, negative 1, uh, negative 1 and negative 1. And here I am going to move this uh, negative 1 uh, over here. This uh, next uh, negative 1 uh, out to the next uh, term. Likewise this negative 1 uh, to the next term. And finally this uh, negative 1 uh, is going to be over here as you can see in this uh, next step and we can see that this uh, negative 4 has been uh, spread out uh, evenly with these uh, four uh, terms on the left hand side now let me go ahead and chunk uh, these uh, terms two in first parentheses likewise two over here two over here and finally two over here and now let's focus on these uh, first uh, two terms and now let's go ahead and find the least common denominator for these uh, two terms we know the denominator for first term is 2021 20, and uh, this uh, one could be written as 2021 uh, 20, divided by 2021 20, and likewise for this uh, next uh, parentheses our denominator is 2022 20, so therefore I can write this uh, 1 as 2022 20, divided by 2022 20, it doesn't make any difference it uh, reduces to 1 and likewise uh, I have uh, put this one as 2023 uh, 20, divided by 2023 20, in this uh, parenthesis and finally for this parenthesis I put down uh, 2024 20, divided by 2024 20, as you can see in this uh, next step now let's focus on this uh, very first uh, parenthesis these two terms and we can see our uh, least common denominator for these uh, two terms is going to be 2021 20, so therefore on the numerator is going to be x uh, minus 7 and then minus uh, 20 21 over here so therefore this whole thing uh, reduces on the numerator to x minus 20 28 divided by 20 21 and now let's focus uh, on these uh, next two, two terms in this parenthesis this time our least common denominator is going to be 20 22 so therefore i can write uh, 20 22 at the denominator and on the top uh, on the numerator is going to be x minus 6 uh, and then minus uh, 20 22 so therefore the numerator could be simplified as uh, x minus uh, 20 28 uh, divided by 20 22 and now likewise we are going to focus on these next two terms this time our least common denominator is going to be 20, 23 and on the numerator this is going to become x minus 5 minus 20, 23 and if we simplify the top part the numerator is going to be x minus 20, 28 
divided by 20, 23. And finally, let's uh, focus on these uh, last two terms in this uh, parenthesis. The least common denominator for these two terms uh, is going to be 20, uh, 24. And uh, then this uh, numerator part could be written as x minus 4 minus uh, 20, 24. And now let's combine the like terms uh, on the numerator. So that is going to give us x minus uh, 20, 28 uh, divided by 20, 24. As you can see in this uh, next step, and here we can see first uh, these two terms uh, have been simplified to x minus 20, 28 uh, divided by 20, 21. Likewise, the next two terms have been simplified to x minus 20, 28 uh, divided by 20, 22. And uh, similarly, for these uh, next two terms uh, have been simplified to x uh, minus uh, 20, 28 divided by 20, 23. And finally, these last uh, two terms uh, have been simplified to x minus 20, 28 uh, divided by 20, 24. And now let's focus on this uh, very first uh, term. This could be written as uh, x uh, minus uh, 20, 28 uh, times uh, 1 divided by 20, 21. Likewise, this uh, next uh, term could be written as uh, x minus uh, 20, 28 uh, times 1 divided by 20, 22. This uh, next term could be written as uh, x minus uh, 20, 28 uh, times uh, 1 divided by 20, 23. And then finally for this uh, term, uh, we could write this thing uh, x uh, minus uh, 20, 28 uh, times 1 divided by 20, 24. As you can see in this uh, next uh, step. And now let's make an observation. We can see x minus 20, 28 uh, is in uh, common uh, across the board on the left hand side. So therefore I can write uh, x minus uh, 20, 28 uh, and then uh, times uh, this very first uh, terms 1 divided by 20, 21 plus uh, next one 1 divided by 20, 22 plus this uh, next is going to be 1 divided by 20, 23 and plus finally 1 uh, divided by 20, 24 equals to 0 on the right hand side. And now let's make an observation all these uh, terms uh, in this uh, parentheses are uh, constants. Now let's recall this uh, crucial fact if we have some constant uh, k times x uh, equal to 0 where once again k is a constant number then we can write uh, this one as uh, x uh, equal to 0. So therefore uh, this uh, whole uh, equation uh, could be written as uh, x uh, minus uh, 20, 28 uh, equal to 0 since this whole thing is a constant. And now let's go ahead and move this uh, 20, 28 on the right hand side. So therefore uh, our solution x uh, turns out to be 20, 28. So thus our x value turns out to be 20, 28. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.